Justin, American school refunds Yaya Bello's children's 10 year school fees to EFCC makes shocking revelation. Fresh revelations have emerged in the probe of former governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, as document from the American International School of Abuja detailing the payment and refund of $845,000 school fees paid in advance by the embattled ex-governor for his five children, Sophie. A part of the document showed that the American school had requested for the account number of the EFCC to make refunds of the controversial school fees upon the anti-graft agency's request. Another part of the document details that the refunded fees did not include educational services rendered to Belo's children up to date when the EFCC made the request for a refund. The document was shared on Thursday by Kogi State former Senator Dino Milai. Recall that the EFCC had said the embattled ex-governor withdrew $720,000 from the state account to pay his child's school fees in advance just before he left office on January 27, 2024. The school fees over a period of 10 years from the date Yahya Bello left office. EFCC Chief Ola Olukoyede made this known in a chat with journalists at the commission's headquarters in Jabi area on in of Abuja on Tuesday. Olukoyede alleged that Bello moved the money from the state covers to a bureau de change operator and used the money for his child school fees in advance. He said a sitting governor, because he knew he was leaving office, moved money directly from the government to borrow the change and used it to pay his child school fees in advance. Over $720,000 or thereabouts in anticipation that he was going to leave the government house in a poor state like Kogi. And you want me to close my eyes under the guise of I'm being used. Used by who? At this stage of my life, used by who? I didn't initiate the case. I inherited the case. I called for the case file and I said there are issues here. The EFCC chair has sworn that it will follow the prosecution of the ex-governor to a logical conclusion, saying that it will resign as EFCC chairman if Belo is not prosecuted. He also vowed that all those who obstructed the arrest of the former governor would be brought to book. The EFCC is seeking to arraign Bello on 19 counts bordering on alleged money, laundering, breach of trust, and misappropriation of funds to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. This is the news for this morning. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to this channel for more news like this.